Are you looking to add some color to your YouTube branding? Then Adobe Color is the perfect tool for you, and the best part is that it's completely free. To get started, open your web browser on either your desktop or mobile device and head over to Adobe Color. If you'd like, I'll have an affiliate link in the description down below on how you can get there. Once you're there, you can begin by creating your color schemes by choosing from one of the variety of color rules I'll have on screen now. You can also explore color options, find colors based on trends, or my personal favorite, get colors from the photos that you upload. To upload a photo to Adobe Color using desktop, look at the tabs on top and head over to Extract Theme. Or if you're on mobile, click on Image. This allows you to upload a photo, and Adobe Color will create a color palette. Now, if you're like me, and have ever taken a photo and thought, I'd really love to use these colors, then this is for you. I'll use this photo I took in Malibu as an example, and you'll see how Adobe Color will find colors. Maybe you can add a photo of flowers you liked, or food you took at a restaurant. You could also take inspiration from your favorite movie poster, comic book cover, or video game art. You also could upload thumbnails from YouTubers you like and use those colors as inspiration for color palettes. Again, you're getting inspiration for colors to use and create with. For this tutorial, I'll use this photo I took from the Getty Villas. Adobe Color allows you to adjust the colors in your palette by dragging and dropping them around the image. You could also choose from one of these pre-chosen color options as you can see on screen. But if you don't want to, you could just highlight your own colors. I really like the look of colorful and will stick with this color palette. But before you're ready to save your colors, I recommend the accessibility tools to see if your colors are colorblind safe. Now, at the time of this video, the accessibility tools are only available on desktop, but I'll be sure to update the pinned comment when it's available on mobile. From here, you can see the tools section, and from there, choose contrast checker or colorblind safe. As you can see, my colors are in fact colorblind safe, but if yours aren't, you can mess around with them here to make them more compliant. Now that we've discussed accessibility, let's talk about how to save these colors. Eagle-eyed viewers might notice that I'm not logged into Adobe Color. That's on purpose to show that this is a free feature. To use these colors, I can just screenshot this and use these colors for free and save them in my favorite design program. You also can save it to your Adobe Creative Cloud account or export it as a file if you sign in or sign up. Once you're happy with your colors, in the top right hand corner on desktop or via these three dots on mobile, be sure to give your color palette a name. You'll also want to tag it to make it easier to find. If you want, you can publish it to colors to help other users out too. I'll publish this color palette in case any of you out there want to use it. If you use the color palette I just created, be sure to let me know in the comments down below or on my Discord server. Once you save your color palette, it'll show in the library section. It will be under the My Library section. Clicking on it, you'll see options to download, share, or create with it using Adobe Express. No matter what kind of content creator you are, Adobe Color is a must-have free tool in your creative arsenal. There's so much more you can do with Adobe Color, but I don't want this video getting too long. If you want to learn how to use these colors, just copy the color codes from Adobe Color to your favorite design tool of choice and start creating with these colors. I personally like Adobe Express for this, and there's a built-in option. To put those colors into action, click that video on screen to learn how to make a thumbnail using Adobe Express. And remember, I'm Andrew Cannon. If I can find colors with Adobe Color, then you can too.